Hi guys and girls, Michael Warren here from Essential Guitar Lessons and let's learn how to play 20 killer 80s riffs. So these songs will range from easy to quite difficult, but pick your favourite, just start slowly and build your speed up. If you like this lesson, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for songs and lessons uploaded weekly. If you have any problems with the songs, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Or if there's more songs you'd like to learn, let me know. So let's get into it. So let's start with Beat It by Michael Jackson, just the main riff. Let me play that for you, then we'll break it down. <laughs> So this isn't too hard, we're going to start on the open E string and play that once, then the 3rd fret on the E string, then the 2nd fret on the A string, then we're going to come to the 5th fret on the D string, and then the 2nd fret on the D string. So, so far we have... Then we're going to slide from the 2nd fret to the 4th fret on the D string, Go back to the second fret on the D string, and then two opens on the D string, and we're going to put a stop after each one. So we don't want that to ring out there. So slowly the riff is. Now the next one's exactly the same, except we only have one open on the D at the end. So again, open. Third fret on the E string, second fret on the A string, fifth fret on the D string, second fret on the D string, slide from the second fret to the fourth fret on the D string, second fret on the D string, and then just one open on the D string. So we play the whole riff for you slowly. Now slide. And again. Slide. So let's do that one more time, up to speed. Remember to put the stops on your open D string there. So that's a fairly simple one to get us started. Now let's try Rocky Like a Hurricane by the Scorpions. Let me play that for you, then we'll go through it. Now with this one and with any of the other songs we're doing, if I'm using a power chord, I'll normally use three strings. Now if you're finding that too difficult, just take off the top number on the tab. So if I was playing the third fret on the E string, the fifth fret on the A string, and the fifth fret on the D string, if you're finding that too tricky, just take off that D string and play the E and the A string, and it'll sound nearly exactly the same. And you can do that on any of the strings. Just take the top number off the tab on the power chord, and it'll make the whole thing a little bit easier for you. So starting on the E power chord, seventh fret on the A string, ninth fret on the D and the G. And as we said, if you're struggling with that chord, just play the ninth fret on the D and the seventh fret on the A. And we do that three times. <laughs> Then we slide back to a G power chord, so we have the 3rd fret on the E string, 5th fret on the A and the D two times. Then just move up two frets, so we're on an A power chord and we do that two times. Then we go to a C power chord, so 3rd fret on the A string, 5th fret on the D and the G and we play that once. And then we just move up two frets to a D power chord and we do that two times. And that's the whole riff, so let me play that slowly for you. And one more time, up to speed. and the chorus. So now let's try Crazy Train by Ozzy Osbourne. So let me play that for you, then we'll go through it. So 
So this time we're starting on the second fret on the E string, we do that two times. Then the fourth fret on the A string, back to the second fret on the E string, fifth fret on the A string, second fret on the E string, fourth fret on the A string, and second fret on the E string. So we have a little pedal tone there. So. Then we jump our first finger down to the second fret on the A string, we play that once. Fifth fret on the E string, fourth fret and then fifth fret on the E string. Back to the second fret on the A string, and then on the E string, five, four, open. And we do that three times, so let me play that slowly for you. one changes a little bit we'll do two times on the second fret on the E string so same start fourth fret on the A second fret on the E fifth fret on the A second fret on the E fourth fret on the A then back to the second fret on the A and then we do a D power chord so open D string second fret on the G third fret on the B and then just finish with an E chord a standard E so open E string, second fret on the A and the D, first fret on the G, open B and E. So let me play that last little part slowly for you. The D, E, finish on. So now let's play that one more time, up to speed. train that's getting a little bit harder now using that pedal tone at the start and finishing on our D and our E. So now let's try I Love Rock and Roll by Joan Jett. This one is not too hard. <laughs> time we're starting on the E power chord, so open E string, second fret on the A and the D, and again if you're struggling with that just play the second fret on the A and the open E. We do that two times in a stop, then we do it another two times. Then we play the third fret on the E string, then we go to an A power chord, so open A string, second fret on the D and the G, and we do that two times. Then we go to a B power chord, so second fret on the A string, fourth fret on the D and the G two times, and then back to the third fret on the E. So slowly. Then we go back to that E power chord, we do it another four times, so two times and a stop. Another two. The third fret on the G, Sorry, the third fret on the E again. And then the A power chord again two times. Now this is where it changes. We're gonna play that B power chord once. So second fret on the A string, fourth fret on the D and the G once. A G power chord, so third fret on the E string, fifth fret on the A and the D once. And then back to our E power chord, which we'll do another four times. So two times, stop, and two times, stop. Then we're going to put this little fill in. We're going to come to the 15th fret on the B string. We're going to do a bend and release. And then the 12th fret on the B string, 14th fret on the G, 12 on the G. So. so we play that whole thing through for you slowly and then we'll do it up to speed. So 
that one's a little bit trickier. We've got this little fill at the end and we're doing power chords and single notes, but just start slowly and build your speed up there on that. And that's basically the intro and the chorus. The only difference in the chorus is they leave out one of the threes after the B there. So now let's try Hit Me With Your Best Shot by Pat Benatar. Let me play that for you, then we'll break it down. So again, this one's just using all power chords and we're gonna start on our E power chord, seventh fret on the A string, ninth fret on the D and the G. We play that once and we come all the way back to an A power chord. So open A string, second fret on the D and the G, play that two times. Then we come up to a C sharp power chord. So fourth fret on the A string, sixth fret on the D and the G, two times. Go back two frets to a B power chord two times. So let me play that part slowly for you. Then the start's exactly the same. We come back up to our E power chord, our A two times, our C sharp two times. And this is where it changes a little bit. We're gonna come back to our B power chord. So second fret on the A string, fourth fret on the D and the G two times. Back to our A power chord, open A string, second fret on the D and the G two times. And then back to our B power chord two times. So let me play that second half slowly for you. So that's quite quick there. So we play the whole thing slowly and then we'll do it up to speed. start the next one you can slide up from that B and then hit the E power chord again. So one more time, up to speed. So that one's a little bit tricky, just power chords, but we've got to move quite quick in the second half of the riff there, well. But again, just slowly build up your speed and you'll get it. So now let's try Jesse's Girl by Rick Springfield. Let me play it for you, then we'll break it down. <laughs> So starting on the D power chord, we have the open D string, second fret G, third fret on the B, and we're gonna palm mute this whole riff. So let's play that two times. And then we go to our A power chord, open A string, second fret on the D and the G, we play that two times palm muted. And then the B power chord, second fret on the A string, fourth fret on the D and the G, two times and then to a G power chord, third fret on the E string, fifth fret on the A and the D, two times palm muted. Back to our A power chord, two times. And then finishing on the chord we started, our D power chord, two times. And it does that six times and the second guitar comes through over the top on the intro. So let's play that slowly now. because if you're palm muting it won't quite sound right if you're just on a clean sound. So now let's try Walk This Way by Aerosmith. Let me play it for you, then we'll go through it. So this is a little bit tricky because it's going quite quick and we have to pick the whole thing. Now you could do it all with hammer-ons and then just picking the second fret, but it doesn't quite sound like what he's doing. So starting on the open A string, we play that once. First fret A string, second fret A string, and then the second fret on the D string, so. 
and then we do that again, open first fret, second fret, second fret on the D, and then we finish that with the open on the E, so slowly. And then we do that first part again, open one, two, two on the D, and again. This time we go to the third fret on the E string, back to the second fret on the D string. So that second time through. Then we do the first one again. And the last one changes a little bit. We have the open A string, first fret, second fret on the A string, second fret on the D string. Open A string, first fret, second fret, A string, second fret on the D, and then we finish with an A power chord. So open A string, second fret on the D in the tune. So let me do that whole thing for you slowly. Now with that one, if you're rolling your finger from the 2nd fret A to the 2nd fret D, try and keep that fairly clean. We don't want an accord rigging. We've got to stop that A string, or you can just jump these. That way the A string's not ringing. But a little bit tricky because it's going quite fast here, but all single notes and we jump on that power chord at the end. So now let's try Hurt So Good by John Cougar. So we play that for you, then we'll go through it. And it just does that four times. This is a little bit trickier now. So we have the open A string. And then we have this chord here. We're going to play the second fret on the D, the fourth fret on the G, and the third fret on the B string. Now we want to bar the second fret because we're going back to that chord. So we play that three times. And then we just go back to the second fret on the D, G, and B. So slowly. And then from there, we're doing a palm mute on the open A string. And then we're playing another chord. We have the open A string, fourth fret on the D, second fret on the G string. Play that once. And another palm mute on the open A string. And then an A power chord. So open A string, second fret on the D and the G. And to finish that off, we do an open E, second fret E. So let me play that slowly for you. It's a little bit confusing, that one. So. And we just do that four times. So let's do that one more time, up to speed. So that's a little bit trickier now with that one, using some different chords there and palm muting in between the chords as well. So now let's try You Give Love a Bad Name. This is just the intro. It's basically the chorus as well. So let me play that for you, then we'll go through it. start on the C power chord, we have the 3rd fret on the A string, 5th fret on the D and the G, we play that once. Then we're coming up to a G sharp power chord, so 4th fret on the E string, 6th fret on the A and the D, we play that once. Then just come up 2 frets and do it 2 times, and go back to our C power chord that we started on once. So slowly. Then we go back to the G sharp, so 4th fret on the E string, 6th fret on the A and the D, one time. Come up 2 frets to an A sharp power chord once. Then we're going to a D sharp power chord, so 6th fret on the A string, 
eighth fret on the D and the G once, and then back to our C power chord, the starting chord. And then we do that whole first part again. And to finish off, we just go to the G sharp, fourth fret on the E, sixth fret on the A and the D once, and then go up two frets and finish there on the A sharp power chord. So let me do that slowly for you now. solo playing over the top of that and it's basically the chorus as well so not too hard just our power chords that time so now let's try summer of 69 by brian adams we'll just do the intro to this so let me play that for you then we'll go through it <laughs> Again, open D string, second fret on the G, third fret on the B, and we play that once open, so no palm muting. And then we do two palm mutes on that same chord, and then play it open again, so no palm mute, same chord. And then we finish off the bar, so it's one and two and three and four and. So we're just doing the palm mute except on the one and two and. And then we finish off the bar, three and four, and, and then do another bar or palm muted, one and two and three and, and on the four, go off again, and then back to a palm mute at the end. So that's a little confusing. If you listen to the song, it's not too hard. So let me play that slowly for you. <laughs> Now at the very start he does that two times, that D riff, then he goes to an A riff and it's exactly the same the way we're doing the on and the off but now we're playing the open A string, second fret on the D and the G so we have off, mute, mute, off and then we finish the bar off and then we do another bar, one and two and three and, and on the four off again and one palm mute to finish. So. so let's do that slowly now. I'll just do that D riff once at the start. So. doing the D riff twice the first time then it goes to the A riff and we just go backwards and forwards between the D and the A after that. So let me play that one more time up to speed for you. It's a little confusing the on off palm muting there. So <laughs> Now let's try Eye of the Tiger. This is one everyone should know. So with this one, I'm gonna show you the two different guitar parts there. The first guitar is just playing a C, 
So the third fret on the A string, and it's doing that right through while the second guitar is playing our riff. So it's just a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, and we do that for four bars. Z. So just do down, up, down, up, down, up. If you're trying to do it all down, it'll become too fast, a little bit tricky. One, two, and three. You can do it, of course. So let's try that slowly. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So the main riff, we're going to start on the third fret on the A string, fifth fret on the D and the G, our C P L chord. We're going to play it once and then put a stop in, then play it again. And then go back two frets and play that once. And then come back up two frets again and we're playing the same chord. So slowly. Then we basically do that part again. We're playing the C again. Go back two frets to our A sharp or our B flat once. And then back up again to our C. Then play the C again. Now we're going to do a G power chord, 3rd fret on the E string, 5th fret on the A and the D once and then just go up 1 fret to our G sharp and hold that one there. So let me play that slowly for you now. And we do that 2 times, so one more time up to speed. So not too hard, just using power chords again. Now if you've got a mate who plays as well, just get them to play the third fret on the A string with our one and the two and the three and the four and then the whole time you're playing that riff there. Now you can also throw that in between if you're playing it by yourself. We could have... So if you wanted to throw that C in between there, you can do that also. Okay, so let's try Pop One, Hungry Like the Wolf by Duran Duran. So we play that for you, then we'll go through it. So this time we're going to start with a slide down just on the E string and then we play the open E string. And then we're going to play the open E and B string just with upstrokes twice. And you can put a stop after each one of those. We don't want to. And then from there we're playing the second fret on the G, back the first fret on the G, second fret on the D, and we do that two times. Second fret, first fret, second fret, so. The second time we do that, we don't play that open E at the start, we just go straight to our open E and B again. Same riff again, second fret, first fret on the G, second fret on the D, second fret, first fret on the G, second fret on the D. So let me do that slowly for you. speed. So when you've done the whole riff you can just keep repeating the last part without putting that open E in. So that's a little bit tricky now, we've got some open chords and some single notes as well. So now let's try it better by the Screaming Jets. This one's for my Australian friends, so let me play that for you. Then we'll break it down. So if you don't know the song, check it out. It is a great Australian song. So we're going to start on the second fret on the G string. I'm going to palm mute that once. And then come up to the fifth fret on the B string once. Back to the 2nd fret on the G string palm mute and back to the 5th fret on 
the D string, uh, sorry, the B string two times. And that's sort of the pattern we're using the whole time. And then we're going to that second fret again on the G string, palm muted, second fret on the B string this time. Back to our palm mute on the G string second fret, and two times on the B string on the second fret. So you can see, same riff, we've just changed where we're playing the B string. So. Then the next one, we play the second fret again on the G string, palm mute. Fourth fret on the G string, back to the second fret on the G string, and then fourth fret two times on the G string. And then we just finish by going back to that second fret on the B string. So let me do that slowly for you now. And it just keeps repeating that right through the intro and the verse. So let me play that one more time up to speed for you. And as I said, if you don't know the song, check it out. It is the great Australian song, Better by the Screaming Jets. Now let's do Sweet Child of Mine, the intro again. Everyone should know this one. So let me play that for you. And I won't do the whole thing, and then we'll break it down. So starting on the 12th fret on the D string, we play that once. Then we jump to the 15th fret on the B string once. G string 14 and 12, so. Then we jump to the E string 15 once, 14 on the G string once, 14 on the E string once, and then 14 back on the G string. Now I use my little finger there. The fingers you use doesn't really matter. Do what works best for you, so slowly. does that two times. Now the next time, it stays exactly the same, it's just a starting note we change. So then we play 14 on the D string, 15 on the B, 14 and 12 on the G, 15 E, 14 G, 14 G, E, 14 G. So exactly the same, the M part, just the starting note changes. that two times and then it changes again this time we start on the 12th fret on the G string and the rest of the riff stays exactly the same 15 14 12 15 14 14 14 and, we, and then we do that one two times as well starting on the 12th fret on the G string this time the rest stays exactly the same we do that two times and then we go back to our first one where we're starting on the 12th fret on the D string. So we do that whole section two times, and then we go to the 12th fret on the D, we do it another two times. 14th fret on the D two times. 12th fret on the G two times. Then we're going to have this little pedal tone. We're going to play the 12th fret on the E, 14 on the G, 15 on the B, 14 on the G, 12 on the E, 14 on the G, 14 E, 14 G, 15 E, 14 G, 14 E, 14 G, 12 E, 14 on the G, 15 B, 14 G, 15 on the B to finish. So you can see we're just playing upper scar but putting that 14 on the G after every note. So slowly. And that last little part up to speed with our pedal tone there. So let me 
me play that again, up to speed for you. <laughs> is a little bit harder now we've got some string skipping in there as well so now let's try one of my favorite riffs from the 80s let's do still of the night so let me play that for you then we'll break it down <laughs> This time we're going to start on the third fret on the A string, we're going to pull off to the second fret and pull off to the open and that's when the drums kick in. And then we play the second fret on the A, hammer on to the third fret, pull off back to the second fret and pull off to the open. And then we play the second fret again on the A, pull off to the open and then the second fret on the E, pull off to the open. So. Do that part two times. And then we play an F sharp power chord. So second fret on the E string, fourth fret on the A and the D. We do two palm mutes on that E string on the second fret. Then play the fourth fret on the D, two palm mutes again on the E second fret, and then an open on the E string. Then we play this chord here. We're going to play the second fret on the D string, the fourth fret on the G string, and the fifth fret on the B string there, play that once, and then to a B power chord, second fret on the A string, fourth fret on the D and the G. And then the whole riff starts again, we don't do that 3-2-0 at the start. second fret on the A, fourth fret on the D and the G. Play an A panel chord, open A string, second fret on the D and the G. And finish on an F sharp, second fret on the E, fourth fret on the A and the D there. And then you can just play an E back to the, back to the F sharp to finish off. So let me play that whole thing for you slowly now. Again, just take your time, build your speed up with that one. Now let's try Every Breath You Take by The Police. This is a tricky one because we've got some big stretches. So let me play that for you, then we'll break it down. starting on the 4th fret on the E string, we play that once, 6th fret on the A string, 8th fret on the D string, back to 6th fret on the A string, so, and we're palm muting this as well. Then we go to the 5th fret on the G string, 8th fret on the D, 6th fret on the A, and then back to the 8th fret on the D, and we do that two times, so we have to jump that first finger down. So let's do that slowly now. Basically we're doing the same thing except we're sliding back to the 1st fret on the E, 3rd fret on the A, 5th fret on the D, back to 3rd fret on the A. This time we're coming to the 1st fret on the G, so a big stretch there, 
fifth fret on the D, third fret on the A, fifth fret on the D. So this one. And we do that two times. Then we're coming up to the fourth fret on the A, we play that once. Sixth fret on the D, eighth fret on the G, back to sixth fret on the D, sixth fret on the G, sixth fret on the D, fourth fret on the A, and sixth fret on the D. So this time. And then we just come up two frets and basically do exactly the same thing. So six on the A, eight on the D, 10 on the G, back to eight on the D, eight on the G, eight on the D, six on the A, and eight on the D. So. And then we're finishing back on that A flat chord there, exactly the same as we did at the start. So let me play that whole thing for you slowly and then we'll do it one more time up to speed. It's quite tricky because there's some big stretches in there. one there with some big stretches and just use a clean sound and we're palm muting nearly the whole thing. So now let's try Panama by Van Halen. Let me play that for you then we'll break it down. <laughs> We're starting on the ninth fret on the D, G, and B, and we play that once. And then we do two palm mutes on the seventh fret on the A. And then we do a sus four chord, an E sus four. So we're just adding our little finger onto the tenth fret on the B, playing the ninth fret on the D and the G. Two palm mutes on the A string seventh fret again. And then we're going to the ninth fret on the D, eighth fret on the G, seventh fret on the B, play that once. And then back to two palm mutes on the A string again, seventh fret. Then back to the E power chord again, ninth fret, D, G, and B. Two palm mutes on the A string, seventh fret again. Adding our little finger on the tenth fret on the B. And then just do one palm mute on the A this time, seventh fret, and then finish on the ninth, on the D, eighth on the G, and seventh on the B. So let me do that slowly for you. And from there, we're basically doing the same thing, coming back two frets, seventh fret, D, G, and B. Two palm mutes on the fifth fret on the A. And then the seventh fret on the D and the G, tenth fret on the B. Two palm mutes on the fifth fret again on the A. And then seventh fret on the D, sixth fret on the G, fifth fret on the B once. And then do the open A string and use your whammy bar to come down there. And then we repeat the whole thing again. So let me play that slowly for you. Break it 
start this one with muting. He's just touching the strings in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're just strumming down there. And then we go to an E power chord, so open E string, second fret on the D, sorry, the A and the D, and first fret on the G, and we play that once. So just an E chord, and then a D power chord, open D string, second fret on the G, third fret on the B, and do that three times. So down, up, down, and then to an A power chord, so open A string, second fret on the D and the G, and again down, up, down on that one. Then we have this little fill, we play the third fret on the E string, and then the open E string, and then the third fret on the B string, and pull off to the open there. And then on the second fret on the G string, we're gonna do a little bend and release. And then pull off to the open. So. And then we just go back to the E again. The D again. The A again. And now we have this little pedal tone here. We've got the second fret on the A string, fourth fret on the E string, second fret on the A string, fifth fret on the E string, second fret on the A string, sixth fret on the E string, second fret on the A string, and seventh fret on the E string, and sliding down there. So there's a bit of a stretch there, so let's do that slowly. Straight back to the E there and one more time up to screen. tricky there, it's got that fill in there, plus we're going between chords and power chords and there's a pedal tone in there as well. So now let's try My Sharona by the Knack. Let me play that for you. <laughs> So we're going to start on a C power chord, 3rd fret on the A string, 5th fret on the D, G and B and play that once. And then we're just going to a B flat so we can just hold down the 3rd fret on the D, G and B, play that once. Come up 2 frets, do the same thing on the 5th fret and then back to the 3rd fret. So we're just going 3rd, 5th, 3rd. Then we have the palm muting on the 3rd fret on the E string two times and then the 5th fret on the D string two times palm mute once on the E string 3rd fret back to the 5th fret D string palm mute on the 3rd fret on the E string again 5th fret again two times on the 3rd fret E string D string again 5th fret and then we slide up from the 1st fret to the 3rd fret on the E string and do another palm mute on the E string then the 5th fret on the D string two times and then back to the 3rd fret palm mute on the E string and finish on the 5th fret again on the D string and then we just finish with our chords there the same as we did at the start so slowly that riff tricky because we're going between palm muting and not palm muting on our octave chord there. So we're just playing G and G there. So let's do one more. Let's do one of Dead or Alive. We'll do the intro and I'll do that on an acoustic guitar for you. So let me play that for you now. Arpeggio picking, we're going to play the open D string, 
14th fret on the G, 13th fret on the E, back to 14th fret on the G. So it's always going to be that pattern, D, G, E, G. And then we play the open D again, 12th fret on the G, 12 E, 12 G. Then we come back again, open D, 10th fret on the G, 10 E, 10 G. Then the open D string again, 9th fret on the G, 8th fret on the E, back to the 9th fret on the G. Then we slide right back to the 5th fret, open D string, 5th fret G, 5th fret E, back to 5th fret on the G. Then the open D again, 4th fret on the G, 3rd fret on the E, 4th fret on the G. Now we're going to play the open D string and the 4th fret on the G string and slide back to the 2nd fret and then just play the open E string there. So that last little part. So let's do that slowly now. 12 and 12, 10 and 10. just do that two times and then we finish with so open A string two times and then third fret A string open D string third fret D string open D string so, so let's do that one more time up to speed I'll just play that first run once for you song there so I hope you enjoyed that so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this lesson don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you soon